Howdy, everyone out there. How you doing? It is Wa. It is Himare. Now, before I continue chit chatting to you, my viewers, just let everyone know on social media that I'm going solo on this matter. What I'm talking about is I'm going to discuss the 2017 WWE Survivor Series review. It took place last night at Houston, Texas. Alrighty then, let's get this thing on the get go or whatever I'm trying to say. Okay, there are a lot of matches to cover, a lot of matches to discuss. Another thing I hate when WWE does this, it happens a lot and it's going to continue when they add matches at the last minute. That mess, sorry, that messes up my predictions, that messes up your predictions if you still do predictions. First of all, it's a pre-show, the kickoff show, I don't watch it because I do in other things. And the the cart the 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 guy with the guitar I hate that gimmick he needs to change his gimmick actually though he needs to change his gimmick he beat Matt Hardy wow Matt Hardy that is not delightful so was this a good match or not let me know should I sh still tune in okay another one is I think there's a double header for a pre-show Kalisa door Versus Nunzo More for the Crusade Championship. That is the only belt was online at Sebastian's. That is pathetic, but whatever. Um, Nunzo More won. He retains the belt. Whoop doo. Now, I did not know that um, Sebastian's start early. So that was my fault. Okay. So thank God for the network. And I had a little issues with my network, network regardless. Not with the internet connection, but other things with the network. I'm not going into any more detail, but I c caught up later on in the show, but that really sums it up. Oh, they had another match. Sami Zayn versus K um, KO versus um, Burns Zango. Big deal, huh? I hate when they add matches this pointless, you know? Of course, Sami Zayn and KO won because they just, Sami Zayn just recently turned heel. W, you booking crappy matches for Sami Zayn and KO. Whatever. Now, did you watch the school show after the show that Sami Zayn and KO was talking about about um, Shane O'Mac and before you know it, um, Stephanie McMahon was there. Does that mean they're going to show up tonight on Raw? We'll find out. Okay, now the first match to kick off Sebastian's with the Shield for the New Day. Now, I rewatched it and it was a very good match. I'm glad that the Shield won because they'd be stupid if the New Day won because the Shield recently just got back together. So that was awesome. Very good match. So, um, Raw was up 1 0 in his bragging rights kind of stipulation kind of thing. Okay, next match it is the women's versus the women's, you know, World versus SmackDown. Um, overall, it was a very good match, and uh, Asuka was a sole survivor on Raw, so they're up 2-0. I love how they do that kind of thing. I think I think that's the first time they ever did, did, did they did that kind of um, scenario. So that's kind of hopefully they do it next year like that. Next one, Barry and Corbin versus the Miz, IC champion versus United States champion, or either or same same thing. Now Barry and they've been talking. Actually, both of them been bickering back and forth on social media. Now, do you think they really hate each other? Or that just all part of the storyline? You can't really tell these days, can you? I'm not a big fan of Burian. I cannot stay in the Miz. Uh, Burian won. So, now it's up to uh, one. Still raw. So, next match, the Usos versus Sheamus and Zario. The Usos won. That was a very good match. If the match you want to check out, I recommend you check it out. I'm glad that, oh yeah, this is champion versus champion, you know, tag team belts versus the, the Raw, the tag team champions versus the SmackDown Live tag team champions. Can you imagine if the belts were aligned? 
people will go crazy. Um, I'm glad that W finally give the Usos the time of day and um, they turn heel. It took them a long time and all good stuff. They're really the, dog, the damn dog. Yeah, the Usos, I'm glad they won. So let's see what's next for the Usos in Samus and Cesario. Next matchup. So um, let me see here. They're tied up for you know the bragging rights. Okay, next one, Charlotte versus Alyssa Bliss. This is a very good match. Women champion versus the Raw Women Champion versus the SmackDown Women Champion. Alyssa Bliss used to be on SmackDown, and Charlotte used to be on Raw. So a very unique match. It's so obvious that Charlotte's gonna win because um, I don't know how W does some crappy stuff. I really wish that. Alyssa Bliss one, but whatever. But it was a good match, you know. I'm glad that the belt was not online. I know it's title for the title, but can you just imagine if the belt was online, people would be pissed. I mean, I would be. And then eventually I'll get over it. Um, so Charlotte won. Do you think it's going to happen again? These, these two ladies will perform? Maybe. You never know. Next match. I think this would be a, this is a good match. The WWE Universal Champion. Brock Lesnar versus AJ Styles, the WWE Champion. I'm so glad the WWE changed their minds. And the original plan is, I also heard that Brock Lesnar didn't want to face Jermaine Mahal as the rusher. I'm glad they, he, I don't know if he had his two cents into this or not. I think that'd be a total domination. Now, speaking of domination, Brock Lesnar did a lot of suplexes, but not like he did to John Cena a couple years ago. And I'm surprised they mentioned it last night on Threshers. So AJ Styles came a little up, a little too short. He did his great offense, but Brock Lesnar beat AJ Styles. You know, I'm not really mad, and I'm glad it was not a total domination. I'm glad that AJ Styles had some offense, not like John Cena did a couple years ago. So that was stupid on WWE's part back then. So do you think we're going to see a match again? Maybe. That'd be kind of neat. I know this sounds stupid. I, mean, I know I mentioned it this whole time. It'd be title for the title for this match. I don't mind. But probably it will never happen. And people are going to say, does that mean that Brennan split is over? Okay. The main event is the Sarasri's men's, you know, team captain for all, Kurt Angle. You know who the whole thing is. It was a very good match. Very good match. I liked it. A lot of people are going to complain like everyone complains on social media. Why in the hell is Shane Mack trying to start the match? Why is he trying to sneak attack Braun Strowman? He got his ass kicked right away and of course Triple H was left at him. You know, brother and you know brother and brother-in-law you know, you know how they are. So I'm glad that Cena did not he got eliminated early. You know, he don't need to pick up the victory. Everyone in, in this match did a good job. But the guys who should be in this match late, they got eliminated early. I was kind of disappointed, but whatever. Mr. Glorious, he should have been in there late. Um, Finn Belly, Finn Belly, Finn Beller, I'm sorry. He should have been in there like very late in this match, but whatever. Um, it was Braun Strowman. It was Triple H did some like a huge curveball. It was like Shane Mac was the last guy on SmackDown Live, but out of the blue, Triple H was teamed up with his son-in-law, and it was Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman was to beat the crap out of um, Shane Mac. I'm trying to think of everything it was from last night. I could be watching now, but it would take me forever to do this review. Then it was a big old um, playing possum Triple H with Pedigree, Kurt Angle, not Kurt Angle. Yeah, he Kurt Angle got eliminated early. This kind of sucks. Or very almost to the end of the match, but Triple H did a huge possum on Braun Strowman. He Pedigreed Shane Mac, and he got to p he picked the victory up because. Braun Strowman was going to pick the victory up, but whatever. So, that close up the show. 
And then before I, I mentioned that, Braun Strowman got into the face of Triple H. Does that mean we're going to see this match in the future? Maybe. May not, may, may, might be a tease, you know? Do you think Triple H should be on Raw tonight? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. It seems like when Triple H is on pay-per-view, he doesn't show up for Raw for many, many months. So, most likely, um, WWE is going to discuss this tonight and on SmackDown Live. So, I think this is a good show. I know a lot of you are going to say it is not as good as War Games. Now, this is just my opinion. In the Survivor Series, it's a different league than NXT. So, people, you need to stop comparing NXT to Survivor Series. It's two different things. I know it's the same damn company, but still. You know, I don't know why people gotta always got to compare. Oh, NXT is better than WWE. Hey, everyone out there has their own opinion, right? Or am I wrong? Okay? Just keep the comments to yourself, okay? I know I've been been bickering, but I think in my eyes it was a decent show, not the best of our series in Sorosha's history. And it kinda sucks. Only one title got defended it was a cruiserweight. Because they can't have a championship of a champion because there's no there's no other um cruiserweight out there, thank God. Uh, we got too many belts. I think they should have, in my opinion, my opinion only, that Brock vs. AJ Styles. If they want a match, they will face again in the future, this time, for the belts, both belts. But that will never happen because then people will complain. Why is W having title for the title? And I thought we have this brand split. This brand split is not really working out from my point of view. You know? I think AJ and Brock Lesnar was, was the best match of the night. Or it might be the worst match of the night. What do you think was the best match of the night? What do you think was the worst match of the night last night? You know? I think the Usos and the Shield was the best match of the night. Or do you think it was Brock Lesnar versus AJ Styles was the best match of the night? I don't know. We'll see if something's going to come out of this between Brock Lesnar. I mean, sorry. Triple H versus um, Braun Strowman in the future. Or do you think this is a tease? I think right now... Is a huge tease. I'm not gonna believe it until it's official on the programming or whatever, you know. So I wish Triple H got eliminated early, but of course he had to pick up the victory because that's Triple H for you, you know. Other guys should pick up the victory like on SmackDown. Do you think SmackDown should won or Raw to close out the show? Didn't SmackDown live one last year? Yeah, they did. Um. So I don't know. I'm also I was okay, champion for the champion, but don't do it for every darn match. Just mix it up a little bit. I want some more title matches, but we don't get that next pay per view. But this time it will be for the SmackDown Live, the Clash of Champions. So this is your host, your team. All right, I did my best. If I botch it, I am not gonna start over. So if you like this. A review, give it a thumbs up, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit that notification, like, and all that good stuff, subscribe. That wraps it up for Survivor Series for 2017. Nothing really surprise, nothing really big moments. But I really love the AJ Styles versus Brock Lesnar. That match was very, very unique. I love it, you know? It's a lot better than John Cena versus Brock Lesnar. You guys agree? Disagree. This is Team Right. Once again, have a good one. And thank you very much for listening. I'm out.